the next major Windows 11 release codenamed 22H2 is just around the corner. And let's find out if your computer is compatible. However, before that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. So first, let's take a look at the Windows 11 requirements. For the processor, you will need at least 1 GHz or faster chip with two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor. And more about supported generations of CPUs just in a minute. For the RAM, you will need 4 GB or more and you will also need a 64 GB or larger storage device. System firmware needs to be UFI and of course secure boot capable. Trusted platform module or short TPM also needs to be here with the version 2.0. And for the graphics, you will need the DirectX 12 or later compatible GPU with VDDM 2.0 driver. And I will also talk about the drivers later in this video. And for the display, you will need screen with at least 720p resolution with 8 bits per color channel. And I also don't want to forget that if you would like to run Windows subsystem for Android, you will need beefier system with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and Intel Core i3 AG AMD Ryzen 3000 series, Snapdragon 8C or above. And speaking of CPU generations, for Windows 11 22H2, you will need Intel CPU 8th generation or newer. And of course, later Microsoft added single 7th gen CPU to the list, 7820H2, and their Intel Core Xeon X and W series. For the AMD CPUs, you will need at least 2000 series, so Zen Plus or newer. And their explanation why they didn't include support for the first gen Ryzen CPUs is that after carefully analyzing the first generation of AMD Zen processors in partnership with AMD, together we concluded that there are no additions to the supported CPU list. And the funny thing is that Microsoft wouldn't be Microsoft if they didn't screw some things up because they actually offered Windows 11 22H2 to the systems with older CPUs. This happened just after the announcement on June 7th that they will be releasing Windows 11 22H2 to the release preview channel, or the most stable insider channel that you can be in. And after that, some users started to report that they got Windows 11 22H2 on unsupported CPUs, just like Reddit user AceRimmer412, who posted a screenshot of Windows Update offering him to download Windows 11 version 22H2 on his Windows 10 PC with an unsupported Intel Core i5 7200 CPU. And he was not alone. Twitter user Barb Bowman said that her unqualified 7th gen Windows 10 PC is being offered Windows 11 22H2 and Microsoft actually responded to this, that this is just a bug and the right team is investigating it. Thanks for notifying. And at this point in the video, if you haven't already, make sure that you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you would subscribe to the channel, that would be remarkable. Right now, let's talk about the drivers for Windows 11 22H2. Intel already released their graphics driver for the upcoming Windows release. It was released on 27th of July, however, they did release this update for 11th and 12th gen Intel processors, because they apparently moved all the older generations of CPUs to the legacy branch of graphics driver releases. And Intel also stated that they will provide software support for affected products on critical fixes and security vulnerabilities only. Only. Software updates for these products will move to a quarterly release cadence or with software releases as needed. In the NVIDIA's camp, they did also release graphics driver for the next major Windows release, but keep in mind that it only supports Quadro GPUs for now. AMD also released driver compatible with 22H2. It is still in pre-release stage, however, apparently it offers massive OpenGL performance increase. All three drivers from major brands are based on the next-gen Windows Display Driver model VDDM 3.1, which will hopefully come with performance increase overall. So how to check if your computer is compatible? 
I recommend two apps. One is third party and the other one is official. So the third party is called Why Not Windows 11. And in my opinion, it's far superior than the official one because it shows a lot more things. And the second one is PC Health Check app from Microsoft, which I also recommend. And for both, I will leave a link in video description down below. So when can we expect the release of Windows 11 22H2? Major tech site The Verge reports that Microsoft is planning to mark the 10th year anniversary of Surface with new products this fall. And it's also planning to deliver the 22H2 update for Windows 11 in late September. So I think that we have to take their words for that. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to the channel and join this tech community like this video for the youtube algorithm and of course if you feel fortunate enough you can buy me a coffee on coffee.com link in the comment section have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace